Welcome to Luxembourg. The first thing you see is this beautiful transition here. We are heading out to the American Cemetery in Luxembourg. And uh, among them is General Patton's grave. You can see there's a stop here along this route called for Lauren Costs, General Patton. But that's actually not the stop. The other thing is, I'm kind of interested in what is there. Is it just a street named after him, maybe? But the one we're going to is Ham Ronda Reich, and that's the American Cemetery. You know, the really cool thing about Luxembourg, too, is uh, it's really nice for a traveler. I guess for a local person, too. To take any bus is free in this country. It's pretty amazing. I got on trying to pay. And uh, you said, you don't pay. It's free. I said, well, you don't have to ask me twice. So, all right. Right down this road should be the American Cemetery. Let's see. What does this say? That's the bat. Eisenhower catches my eye. Dwight David, David Eisenhower, President of the USA, Commandant Chief Forces Allies in Europe, 1890-1969. That's pretty cool little Eisenhower could be there. Another little Eisenhower marker memorial. Here's the front of the cemetery, it looks like. Very few people here. I believe that's just the name of this road then, huh? It's Dwight E. Eisenhower Road. Dwight David Eisenhower Road. I put the full middle name. Well, let's have a look inside. The American Cemetery in Luxembourg. Coming up to the front gate, Luxembourg, American Cemetery and Memorial. Two eagles. Look at that big huge thing right in front of us. American Battle Monuments Commission. American Cemetery is the only American military cemetery in Luxembourg. General George S. Patton Jr. is buried here, just below the terrace wall, but halfway between the flagpoles. 5,076 war dead of the United States of America from World War II rest here. Most died in fighting north of the city and eastward to the Rhine during the winter of 1944 and spring of 1945, as well as in the air operations over these regions. Additionally, the names of 371 Americans whose remains were never recovered or not identified are inscribed on two stone pylons below the chapel on the paved terrace. Two stars mark the names of those who were subsequently found, 101 headstones mark the graves of unknowns. The construction of this 50.5 acre cemetery and memorial are the responsibility of the American Battle Monuments Commission, an agency of the United States government. Use of land was granted in perpetuity by the people of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. After World War I, the American Battle Monuments Commission erected a memorial in each of the eight American military cemeteries in Europe, as well as 11 battlefield monuments at the end of World War II, 14 additional American, uh, additional military cemeteries were established overseas. Each contained a memorial with the record in permanent graphic form of the achievements of the U.S. Armed Forces in that region. The graves of these World War I and World War II memorials cemeteries number approximately 39% of those originally buried. The remains of the other 61 were returned home at the request of the next of kin. A white marble headstone marks each grave, a star of David for those of Jewish faith, and a Latin cross for all others. At each of the memorials are inscribed the names of missing who gave their lives in that region. There's only, looks like, 
two other people here, a couple, an older couple that's, uh, I think, Italian. It's very interesting, but look at this big monument here. 1941 to 1945, in proud remembrance of the achievements of her sons and in humble tribute to their sacrifices, this memorial has been erected by the United States of America. It's pretty big. side here. Uh, it's I think the same thing but in French. Les tots de Amérique. Luxembourg's uh, crown on the top there. I hadn't gone all the way around. There's something on the front here too. Here is enshrined the memory of valor and sacrifice. So I can go in there and see what's inside. This is the map of the Ardennes. Just at Bastogne yesterday. Angel. Physical fitness, proficiency, valor, fortitude, it's all like scenes of warriors. Oh, it's a little chapel, I see. People from all over the world signed in that book, and uh, they wrote some real nice things. We will never forget. Rest in peace, boys. Things like that. Really good stuff. I wrote, The Greatest Generation, We Owe You Everything. Okay, there we go. We are recorded the names here. Yeah, I can't see that first word. Now I can see it. Here are recorded the names of Americans who gave their lives in the service of their country and who sleep in unknown graves. So, they were not recovered. Certainly it's not as big as the American Cemetery in Normandy, France, but it's still a lot of dead young men. A lot. Selfless. Died fighting for another country so they could be free. One is not free, none are free.
process. American flag in here. One of the great generals to ever walk the face of this earth. General George S. Patton Jr. General Third Army, California, December 21st, 1945. Very simple marker, just like the rest of his men. Okay, here with his Third Army. As he died in a car accident just a short time after the war ended. Tough son of a gun that I'm glad was on our side. Now some more people are starting to show up. And I find it pretty cool that uh, most of them actually are not Americans. Coming here to pay respects. Appreciate that. I like this view here. Patton looking out over his men. February 22nd, 1945, Tennessee, William Tominsky. February 19th, 1945, Illinois, Wisconsin, Illinois. What did you suspect there? New York. Lee Harrison died on April 2nd, 1945, and he's from Missouri. Private first class. Charles Snyder from Pennsylvania. William Wells from Arkansas. Anthony Kozak from Pennsylvania. Iowa. Indiana. Wallace Kodelski from Washington, D.C. Tennessee, Missouri, Pennsylvania, New York, Tennessee, Massachusetts, Michigan, Michigan, Vermont, Georgia, Texas, Rhode Island, Maryland, New Mexico, Florida, New Hampshire, beautiful place, sad but beautiful. 
as I'm leaving, you can see it's gotten fairly busy in here. And like I said, the coolest part is that most of these people seem to be not Americans. The mum door.